what is up guys happy thanksgiving okay it is thanksgiving morning i just got done doing my whole little um my morning routine that i'm trying to start okay i'm trying to start this whole morning routine where i do certain things and um yeah so i did that and i listened to rihanna okay and i jammed out a little bit while i was um, cooking and cleaning the kitchen okay and then my son who asked for pancakes made him pancakes and then he says to me i don't want it yuck okay and then he says to me i want ice cream and i'm like well we don't have ice cream and if we did have ice cream you're not getting ice cream for breakfast okay i only do that when I rarely do that but sometimes i'll be like okay kids ice cream for breakfast that has happened twice okay and my son is three and my daughter is 12 and a half all right but all in all so you know he had his little milk and then he's he's in there he's he's chilling with his sister so we'll see when he comes back and says he's hungry because he will okay but with that being said, happy Thanksgiving, guys. I wish you nothing but the best. I wish you a nice day filled with love. I hope that you're surrounded by good people that absolutely love you and that you love them and that you just get a lot of good food in and you just enjoy and relax, okay? So this video is titled Being Raised by God, okay? Being raised by God is so, so important and it's, it's something that we must understand you know, we are born into a family and our dad raises us, our mom raises us. But at the end of the day, once we reach a certain age, we are supposed to be raised by God. OK, um, I believe that your your father, your blood father is supposed to be a godly man. Absolutely. And he's supposed to instill things in you. But then when you get to a certain age, you're supposed to then turn to God for a lot as well. And then when you leave the house and you are grown, your father is God absolutely your blood father absolutely but your father your father your father is god and i wanted to do this video i wrote it with god um yesterday so let's tap into it okay if you are not subscribed to your girl please go ahead and do so right now support your girl on this journey that i always say is bigger than me because it is all right <coughs> allergies so when you are raised by god you are not weak you are not weak at all um, and when you're, it's a beautiful thing when you're raised by God and your father when you're a little kid, right? Because you have both of these fathers that mean a lot to you, instilling a lot into you. And when you have a good parent, you have good parents, and then you have God, like you are not weak. Because good people, good parents prepare you for the real world. They prepare you for things that they have encountered or just life in general, right? And then if you go through something, you're not, you're, you, you, you're equipped, okay with knowledge and spiritual um, power when you are raised by man you are weak and you're a coward this is so true this is why you know a lot of people think that money money solely is power they think that weapons are power you know they think that their clothing their car they think that them saying that they're high value because of the, the, their financial status is, is is power they think that they are not a coward because they can flash out a dollar bill and things and make things happen but if you are standing in front of a woman or a man of god that dollar bill is not going to intimidate you that dollar bill is not going to make your panties fall off that dollar bill is not going to do anything but be a dollar bill do you know what i'm saying and this is the difference between being raised by man mankind society and being raised by a good man your father and and, and god do you know what i'm saying let's those are our two fathers that oh god is good let's, let's tap into it okay man wants you to fear man the man out there in the streets and when i say man i'm talking about women and men mankind wants you to fear them they want you to fear them. And the only way that they want you to fear them is by having something over you, by having more money than you, by having things that you may not have. But at the end of the day, the same way they got it, you can get it too. But you're going to get it through God. And that is a different insight that we get. The money from God is a different, a whole different ball game. Let's tap into it some more. With, when God says, don't fear man, indeed fear him. All of these people out here who want you to fear them and who want you to be um, controllable, who wants to do certain things to you, they don't fear God. They fear their cousin. They fear their dope dealer. They feel they fear the cult member. They feel the cult leader. They feel they fear witches. They fear warlocks. They fear people, but not God. And that is a big mistake. When you fear God, He gives you power. 
makes a big difference. See, our enemies have this thing where they want people to be intimidated and fearful of them because of their money, because of their crowd, when at the end of the day, they're all cowards. You're a coward if you got to use your body. You're a coward if you got to use anything but your spiritual self and, 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 and the goodness of you to get what you want. And this is not a video geared towards prostitutions or I don't know anything about that world. I don't, don't know anything about that life. I'm talking about people out here who think that they can use their body and they can use their wealth, their bank account, their inheritance for something that is dis, that is demonic. Do you know what I'm saying? I know that there's people out there who, who have been trafficked and they think that there's no way. That's a whole different story. So this is not about those group of people. I just want to clear that up because the world is going through a lot and there's so many people out there who are selling their body and who, who in a, who's in a situation that I know nothing about. So this is not about them, okay? You guys get it, right? Because I don't want to step on anybody's toes. I know that their world is not, it's just awful. That's a whole nother topic and that's sad, but let's go. The dark focuses on what they do, what they say, illusions that only pleases them. If you notice a lot of our enemies, if it's not pleasing them, if it's not, uh, you know, if they can't control you, they hate you. They don't like you. They want to ruin you. They want to turn people against you, right? God lets us know about what they do and what we can do. No hands needed, just spirit, prayer, and gratitude. That's all we need is spirit, prayer, gratitude. And of course, in the spiritual world, there's a lot more, right? But it's a beautiful thing because God gives us insight on our enemies. When you are aligned with him and you're letting him raise you, he gives us insight. He lets us know what our enemies are doing. He lets us know what they're plotting. He lets us know everything. He lets us know what we need to do and what we need not to do. And that is retaliate, that is be angry, that is be bitter, that is be cold. We're not going to participate in their shenanigans. Not today, not ever. Rise up, spiritual warriors. God is a proud father of us. Absolutely. He says he is proud of us. Many people keep God's name in their mouth, but not in their heart. There's a lot of people who on Christmas Day, there's a lot of people at, at, the, at the time of, a, you know, these Jewish holidays. There's a lot of people around the time of a holiday when they choose that they want to be spiritual. They choose that they want to put on their best fit. They choose to go to the synagogue. They choose to go to the church and pretend like they are someone that they are not. Pretend like God is in their heart. But God says, I see those people. I will humble those people for trying to play and make a mock out of my name and my church and my kingdom. We are not to worry about the false people, but we are to worry about the real ones. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's tap into it some more. When you don't know God, you pretend that you are God. This is why a lot of our enemies, they pretend, you know, they try to alter our lives with a lot of BS. When you try to change the course and the direction of anybody's life, you're trying to play God because God owns me. Do you know what I'm saying? Let's tap into it some more. God is God. He does not need approval for anything. He does not need to prove anything. But God says your enemies do. Your enemies need to start proving themselves or God is going to show up and he's going to rock their world. Rock their world. But God says your enemies do, absolutely, as a teacher, as a parent, us as a child and student. He says, I know you. I know you. He will discipline us. He will hold on one second. He will love us. He will love us to the core. Hold on, baby, because he is the only one that knows us, who we truly are and will be. Being raised by God, he raises leaders. He raises warriors. I love you guys so much. And be raised by God continuously. You can start today. You can start tomorrow. But understand that God is our father. And he loves you. He loves you. Love what you. He loves you. Okay? Happy Thanksgiving. Stay tuned for my other videos because I got a few right more coming. Here, I love you right so much. Here. Bye.